everyone welcome back to my channel today we'll be doing another challenge which could kind of stupid but whatever I have made a challenge few months ago and it did not go well because of the recording problems but today we'll be doing another one so sorry for the noise there another appointment has been made you may ask me what happened to me in the previous month so I have posted recently a video which has been recorded for quite some time well it's been months since i have released that so what happened to me so well i did a took a little break again <laughs> because i feel like there's nothing much happened in the sim so i am bored at that time so anyway with all that being said <laughs> this challenge is kind of nerve-wracking so I have postponed another day which is this day to shoot that because I have to tweak the rules it's just been stressful this week so anyway let's get started the rules of this challenge is very simple so you must shrink the whole house itself <laughs> So, I'll be doing this challenge in this house, the Oakensteed, or not a great idea. I have remembered yesterday. <laughs> so, I will do it in a Brook bungalow. The rooms should be the, still the same, but I could only remove two items per room. I should not add another room, or I should not remove another room. So, that is technically the challenge. So, if it fit into the tiny living system, which is 100 tiles, we are winning. <laughs> this is my trial run. As you can see, this is the other houses. I know this is not. We'll be going to this house. And as you can see, this is very small. So, that is the main point of this challenge. So let's go back and let's see if we could do that. As I can see, there are some rooms here. So my only purpose is to shrink those rooms. I could remove two items. I have modified it from yesterday. So yeah, let's see. So this is the house itself before we tinker with it. How do we... So my predictions. I could not finish it but if i finish it it is truly a great experience so let's get started so i would like to start by just dissecting the room itself so i will just shrink it apart so i may start at the bottom first so i will be right back and when i am back i have finished it Hi, <laughs> it's been a lot of minutes since I have recorded my intro. Previously, I have said that I will be shrinking the house. So here's the house, the first layer of the house, the first floor of the house. As you can see, this is the terrain. So it is quite a lot <laughs> that I have removed. So I have removed two here, one door and a counter. Here I have removed two doors. Here nothing, here nothing also, here nothing. So if you can see, this is the lower floor and this is the upper floor. <laughs> That's how much of space that I have removed in order to make it tiny house. But unfortunately, it still doesn't qualify because I need to remove 200 more. So I'll explain to you what I am doing. So first, I will select the room that I want to work on. And then just rearranging things to make it smaller. It's like jigsaw puzzle, but it's not a jigsaw puzzle. By just rearranging the room, I could fit some objects. Design-wise, it may ruin the design. So that is a bit of a problem right, so i will just copy paste everything in this i will just arrange it and just like that we have removed another room there 
so I could just drag it here here is the final design so I will just swim repaint this later on so this is now how it looks Let me rearrange it once more. <laughs> I really think this is the largest that I could do in this room because if I shrink it more, there's literally. I think I have deleted this one after that. So I will just re retain it again. So to perfectly remove this gap, so I will just shrink it. So there, we can see that it perfectly lines up now. <laughs> that is the sign, the design of the house now. Let's go on to the other rooms. The problem in the older rooms in The Sims is that it's kind of glitchy so I have encountered those things while I am making the room shorter and a bit simpler so I think that maybe because they have this update that caused that it made the whole building experience more fun and more interactive and it is not glitchy glitchy that much anymore so if i could just place everything in accordance to what it is needed what what is needed i would place that the, the chair in the inventory because so i have removed that chair because it's kind of glitchy that's why i'm talking about, that's what i'm talking about i really don't know why it's happening but instead i am continuing to shrink it so i think for this room this is the smallest that it could be because if i to remove this thing this rug not only it will hinder the design but instead oh i could shrink it okay i could just continue to shrink the room because it is shrinkable now we have a smaller room but very big but still very big so to make sure that i could still use this part and not terribly destroy the design so i'll just shrink this remove this balcony here and instead replace this with this balcony here what's not working am i missing something why it's not working it's just when this is done. We could shrink it into the side. Copy this. What? Oh, okay. Okay, so I am thinking that I am removing too much object, but if I have been removing too much object, I must return some object. So to remove that window and that thing there, so I must return two things also. So I will just delete this and just retain the thing there. Or maybe delete this and return this lamp. That's the better idea. So I could now shrink it to its proper size there that's the reason why it's not working there's this column so let me just place it there and for the column for the remaining part let's just make it smaller this is the biggest that i could do so this is the house as you can see it's smaller but it is not yet fitting the criteria of a tiny home that 
that's none of our business anymore so if we can see here this is the biggest that we can do in this area the reason why is because if we delete this it will equate into four and i have removed at least two objects in this area so i could not remove any more so this is the largest that i could do so for the roofing i will just do a roof not not another tile because that will just increase the number of tiles that we have used so maybe let's just place it like that however it will be clipping so we don't like that let's work on with this horrible roof so i do i think the reason that it is very terrible is not only that i have morphed the house but also the roofing back then is also horrible to make it more palatable so maybe let's just do like this push that through a little bit more and then let's just fix some things so this one I there's a hole in here so let's just patch it up with this one and I am using the wrong key there so let's copy this so and let's copy this okay there we are we have i think successfully finished this thing <laughs> this is another monstrosity this is not monstrosity anymore but instead it is terrible design <laughs> so for the terrain let's just i think the only thing that we could do is just move the terrain inside and erase the current terrain because it's not working that well anymore so I could say 10 out of 10 terrible due to the design but hey it is a house and you could still live in here so this is the lower floor so I have adjusted it so that it could be in the same page as the floor above so this is the dining room so I have deleted the door in exchange for this one because if I have placed a door there the whole thing here will be out of order so just sacrifice the door instead the of the furniture so by sacrificing that i have made another design so this is uh, i think it was fused due to that reason so now this is the patio so previously it is a big one but now it is small because that's how tiny living works <laughs> so this when we go inside this is the foyer now i have twisted this in order to not to save more spaces so when we go to the living room we have this tv set with the horrible cabinet and everything just removed has been deleted when i have bent the stairs so good job on that so that's why i'm saying that build by mode previously is a glitchy so i have rearranged years and i will to rearrange this again here since there's no definite there. so there is the window there's the mirror and there's the tv set then up here we have the washroom so here in the washroom we have typical things there so i have deleted these areas in order to save space even though it's not used anymore so when we go up this is the kids bedroom so i have crammed everything in this area and then when we come to the other bedroom i have deleted i think two objects here so that's now the space and then when we go here, this is the upper bathroom, so here, you could see that. So I have removed another object there, so in order for the door to fit in. This is the bathroom, so because it is scaled down, I have removed one object as far as I know. So this is how it looks now. And then this is the master's bedroom, so I have removed, I think, two objects here, so... I have removed a window and another chair to 
complete this set because if I have not removed here, this this door will not be present here. So this is the balcony and it is smaller than usual and that is pretty much the house. So I could pretty say that it definitely changed. A bit so. so this is the smaller version of the house not gonna lie it is kind of yucky in some way we do whatever thing that we could do in order to save space so now it kind of looks better than before but it's just terrible so yeah so to wrap this up <laughs> This challenge is kind of nerve-wracking, not gonna lie. This challenge also enabled me to see the newer outlook of how to reposition everything by just removing two objects. And this challenge is pretty dumb, so I have no idea to what to do in my YouTube video. So let's just call it a day. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please continue liking or consider liking and if you really like really like my videos my content even my extras videos if you really liked it so you may consider subscribing and go check out my socials down below and also thank you for another year <laughs> because this is my anniversary month again <laughs> i am going back in youtube every anniversary month and i am stopping after three months <laughs> so i will try my best not to do it anymore so thank you for watching and have a great day why am i ending like this so anyway bye